<clears throat> oh my god. So earlier today, I mean just like and by earlier today I mean like five minutes ago, I just finished some Jimmy John's and a cookie and it was so dang good. <sighs> Can't believe it. And uh I feel really good right now. I might pass out of how good I feel. But anyway, here we go. Massive rare. Ooh. Um interesting. First pick. Self assembler. Um these are all pretty good. Unlicensed Disintegration is a pretty sweet card as far as the aggro decks. I kinda wanna see where um on my little cheat sheet where eliminate is but unlicensed is like the best, right? Oh, okay, okay. Now I could, you know, it's really interesting here. This is one of these picks that are really interesting in the world of MTG, which is uh, I could pick up Eliminate the Competition, I could pick up any of these other things, or I could pick up Thriving Rhino and just set myself up in perfect green right away. It's not a good first pick, um, but it is strong, and I might honestly just pick up Unlicensed Disintegration early, but I kind of want to do Thriving Rhino, just because that sets me up in green very nicely, and I think I'm going to do that. Um, I could. No, nah, do the smart play. Do the smart play. All right. Which I don't even know if this is smart. Um, hmm, Iron League Steed is pretty good. Eager Construct is also very nice. Uh, how much is Reservoir? Aether. Flux. Two cents. Okay, so we're just going to ignore that. Um, I think Iron League Steed is better than Sky Skiff. Uh, and it's colorless, so let's just go with that. Looks pretty nice to me. <clears throat> All right, so we have Insidious Will, Veteran Motorist. That looks pretty good. Subtle Strike is very nice pickup. Thriving Ebix. Um, man, this sucks because Veteran Motorist is good. Unless it's Disintegration also is really good, but I should have just been in green. I really should have. Uh, Veteran Motorist is fine. When do we get much energy? I'm not really in energy colors. This is a good card. I don't know. self assembler is also very good. I'm going to go Subtle Strike. It's a good combat trick. It's very early to be picking that up, though. But, you know, I really want to get some creatures. That's really what I want to do. I should have just picked up the Ebix. Contraband Kingpin. Ooh, look at this. Gear Seeker Serpent. Man, how much is Bloom and Marsh? I'm just probably going to just rare draft this. Eighty-six cents. That's it. Man, it's not even worth hate drafting. Lame. Um, I think I'll just go contraband kingpin. Uh, we're getting all over the place here as far as colors go. Uh, I could go gear seeker serpent. I could go gear seeker serpent actually. Yeah, let's go gear seeker serpent. Because I don't really know what I'm trying to do here. Hunt the weak. Wow, I'm all over the place. How about his Inventor's Fair? Inventors. Why can't I type? Not even a fraction of a penny. <clears throat> so, I'm going to say... Man, I'm all over the place right now. Hunt the Week's the next best card. Riparian Tiger. Thriving Grubs is a great two drop. Um, Riparian Tiger is also very good, but this works nicely with what I got going on here. So I'll pick up Thriving Grubs. I'm a little concerned because this draft is looking very awkward right now. Wow. This is curious. Um, lots of blue. Everyone's avoiding blue. Aether Theorist is pretty nice, though. Um, let's just pick up Sage. See if we can... See if we can... Ooh, that's a good pickup. Um, this is really, like, all over the place. 
This is really kind of uh, crazy. Yep, should have first picked that thriving rhino. See, I, I really put myself in a bad position. Any trailhawk's kind of nice. Uh, now we're going to go five colors. Ooh, this is good. Salivating gremlins, that's kind of good. I have nothing in that. I'm, I'm going to go with this because this, this is looking quite good. However, um, man, I am like all over the place. You can put this here, put this there. Splash for this. Not bad. Ooh, there you go. Get one of these. All right, get another Sage. I'm okay with that. Renegade Tactics or Hijack or this. Well, um, could do this for now. Uh, sideboard. I'm not really in the red, but I could be. I don't know. I'm just all over the place. I guess I could take these out. Just see how this looks. Wow. Look at these two drops. Did not realize I had a million two drops. Okay, come on. I got to get a big rare to kind of solidify my colors. Because so far this is not good at all. So far this is like really hurting. I'm a little concerned. Although salivating gremlins with this is kind of a nice combo. Ooh, Dovin Bond. I think I'm just going to rare draft because I'm a dirty, dirty casual. Oh, look at that thriving rhino. How many inches of Dovin? 1.81. It's not even worth rare drafting him. Wow. Um, so then is Thriving Rhino the next best pickup? Spire Sight Infiltrator is a very aggressive card. We are we do have a energy theme, and I do think Thriving Rhino is very good. Um, let's just soak up the green card. How about that? And then maybe I'm giving away the red. I don't know. I gotta find some. Uh, I gotta find that two drop that fixes your mana to play this. Because I am all over the place right now. This is a sideboard. Metallurgic Summons. Um, ooh, Pyrohelix. Ooh, Pima Outrider. Ooh, Welding Sparks. Alright, let's see how much Metallurgic Summons costs. 51 cents. Okay, I think I'm just going to go Welding Sparks. Uh, is that better than this? I think so. Yeah. I'm going to say yeah. Pima Outrider. Let's see what the cheat sheet says. Welding. Sparks. Versus Pima. I think Welding. Yeah, Welding Sparks is better. But I want that Pima Outrider. Glimmer Genius is nice. Spontaneous Artist. Renegade Freighter. Third pick? Yes. We're getting aggressive. Ooh, Durable Handicraft. Kind of a good card. I uh, already have too many of these. Too many Sages. Botanical Sanctum. Let me see how much that costs. Let's see how much Botanical costs. 146 I think I might pick it up. I think I might just pick it up. Uh, durable Handicraft could be good. I have tons of two drops, but it was a little slow in the last um, time I played it. Uh, thriving Grubs, 3-2. Oh my god, another Thriver. Another Thriver would be very nice. Um, Spire Side Infiltrator also is quite nice. And combos with the Freighter very well. But I just like the idea of having a Thriving Grubs in my deck. Because it's a low drop. I think it's better. Mainly because you get a 3-2 for 2 mana. Versus a 3-2 for 3 mana. That is sort of like a 4-2, but whatever. Actually, maybe with a, a such a small curve, I should have picked up the, uh, the whatever it was called. Whatever that card was called. I don't even know. 
I don't even know. <clears throat> what are we waiting on? Come on, somebody make a decision. Uh, commencement. Uh, welding sparks. Ooh, late welding sparks. Really late welding sparks. I mean, I mean, I would definitely pick that up for this. I mean, look how low of a curve I got. Sage of Shalia's Claim makes my thriving grubs better. Makes the thriving rhino better. I gotta find something to splash with uh, unlicensed disintegration. And I'll be ready to go. Um, no, yes. Inventor's Goggles might be something we want to play. Now we really want more creatures. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go Sky Skiff. Wow. Built a smash. Um, unfortunately, I think that's what we're going to have to play. Wow. Uh, I could splash um, the Whirler Virtuoso. Nothing else really seems like it fits. Wow, this is just bad. These are all bad. Hey, maybe start your engines. Maybe start your engines. Maybe I'm going to go that deep. Foil. Hijack, potentially. I need to get more creatures. I need to get more creatures. I need to get more creatures really badly. <clears throat> mm, Cal Prowler, top end. Uh, yeah, sure. I suppose I can do that. Give me that forest. Here we go. Give me something good. Animation module. Oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, do I want to go animation module? You may pay one. If you do, make a one-one servo artifact token. Interesting. That's a pretty interesting one drop, actually. Um, if we want to go the 1-1 one, one counter route, I mean, we really have a good 1-1 uh, one, one counter route. This actually makes your salivating gremlins a lot better. I think I'm going to do this. Mm. Renegade Freighter is also a pretty good pickup, but that's not bad. Long Tusk Cub, baby. Oh, my God. Ooh, Long Tusk Cub or Welding Sparks. I need more creatures. I need more two drops. Oh my god, Long Tusk Cub is such a good pickup for us right now. Because this is exactly what we're trying to do. Oh man, just snap pick that up. Sorry, excuse me, my nose is all itchy. Off that Jimmy John's, I'm like freaking out. Hey, what's up, Hog, Hog Foss? Hello, friend. How are we doing this fine evening? Are we ready to... Uh, Turn this draft from something super janky to something super awesome. Maybe I will play this plus start your engines. Because if I can get this open, that would be pretty interesting. Blitz the Charger is pretty cool. Uh, I may want to pick that. Hunt the Week is pretty good. I do need more creatures though. And I have crazy amounts of removal. I have Welding Sparks, two Hunt the Weeks. I mean, I have tons of two drops. Um, I think I just need more creatures. And I will pick up Hunt the Week because it is quite good. Armorcraft Judge and Pima Outrider, both, and Thriving Grubs and Thriving Rhino, all fit into my game plan. I'm going to go with Armorcraft Judge 
Pima Outrider is also really, really good. But this can draw me cards, I think. Um, don't want to do that. Yeah, I guess so. Elegant Edge Crafters. Ooh, look at this splash. A tune with Aether. Aether, whatever. Riparian Tiger. Oh my god, all this is so good. Look at this. This, 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 and this all is what I want in my deck. And this. I think I'm going to go with Imperial Voyager. It's a very nice late pickup. And I can just cut this, put Bota Botanical Sanctum in there. And then now I can splash both of these relatively easily. Ooh, that's pretty good. Seed Sculptor, Wild Wanderer. That helps me um, fix a little bit. Kujara Seed Sculptor is pretty decent. Chancho's Pyrohelix is also very good. But, you know, I'm going to go with this. Chancho's Pyrohelix is good, but we have we already have plenty of removal, to be perfectly honest. Um, Weldfast Monitor. Let's take this out. Look at how aggressive this deck is. Holy crackamole. This is really aggressive. Um, let's do takedown as a sideboard, maybe. Not good. Why are you not good? I don't like the sound of that. Um, I might do takedown for a sideboard card. I already have enough. Let me just do another creature. World Fast Monitor might be good with what we're trying to do. Um, Appetite for the Unnatural. Whirler Virtuoso number two. Jeez. I mean, we're definitely splashing blue here. Um, I'm going to go with Appetite the of the Unnatural, though. Because it can be a great, powerful sideboard card uh, in case we need it. In fact, I'm kind of thinking about playing it. Um, Weldfast is fine. Hijack could be good in this deck. Uh, let's just go hi Hijack as sideboard. Mm. Let's help everyone else out in case they need it. Did I already get a takedown? Takedown for the sideboard. Excuse me. Rush. Hate on the rush. Inventor's goggles even though we don't need it. And commencement. I might actually play one more card. Just like... I might actually play another card because I have such a low curve... It's so aggressive. Like, Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot kind of isn't even something I want to play. Mm, I'll go with that. That's good. Alright. Uh, combine groups. Sword by color. Uh, okay. So, we have this. We're going to play... Uh, let's see. We're going to add not three... Not even two, I don't think. Man, eh, we could add two. Two, eight, six. A lot of low drops. Two, eight, six. That is eight, 14, 15, 16, 17. How about we go seven and seven? I have a lot of low drops here, but everything's low drops, actually. But I do need both of these pretty evenly. Like, a turn two thriving grubs is really important. I only have one of those. I'm fine with this. Add to deck. This is a weird deck. All right. Look at that. Tops out at four. I bet. I bet you I could cut, um, like a, a mountain and put in something else like a hijack. Man, that would be really good. I kind of want to do it, but I do feel like that splash. Like I don't want the splash to slow me down. Gotta gotta win the first turn. Gotta get the first first play. Oop. Didn't get the dice roll, so I'm gonna lose. Wow. Sure I'll keep. Wait a minute, I'm going first? How am I going first? Oh he wanted to go second? What a weirdo. Alright. I get to go first. That's pretty good for me. Hopefully, um, 
they aren't playing a super hardcore uh, control deck. Because that would kind of uh, throw me off. Alright, here we go. Okay. You have a turn two play? No. Pass the turn. Pass the turn. Yes. Well, I could get hit by uh, whatever that thing is. All right, begin combat. Here we go. Yes, please. Yes, please. All right. Boom. Look at that. Setting it up. Setting it up. I mean, you already know what my game plan is. Clearly. Clearly. Thriving Rhino. All right. Well, guess what I'm going to do, buddy? I am going to be very mean here. I'm just going to keep the pressure on. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Swing in for five. Yes. Yes. Get aggressive. Get aggressive. Okay, here we go. Hopefully this thing stays alive so that next turn I can play Armorcraft Judge uh, and draw a card. Because that would be very beneficial for me. I could make more life and get more energy, but that really doesn't do much for me right now. I don't know what um, <clears throat> they could do with that, but 5-4 swinging in from here on out is pretty good. You have to make a pretty big thing for 4 mana to... Uh, Stop this onslaught. Ooh. Wow. Taking five more. Time to get aggressive. Okay. Well, if you're tapped out like that, um, okay. Okay, draw a card. All right, play a land. Be in combat. Swinging, sure. No, just gonna take another five. We're looking pretty good here. Then we got more ways of making a ton of stuff. Whatever he plays, I can deal four damage to it. I'm not too concerned about it. So we're looking very good. Oh, really sorry that I couldn't uh, give you a free entry there, buddy. Thriving Ebix. Sure. Thrive it up. Should I just four it? Alright, play this. Um one, two, three, four. Okay. And swing in for the win, baby. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, begin sideboarding. So, it seems like this person has quite a bit of, um, takedown would be good. So I'm actually going to cut Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot, and I'm going to put in takedown, and I'm actually going to cut a mountain to put in, um, Appetite for the Unnatural, mainly because I can blow up one of their things, and then there is a takedown because it deals one damage to each creature with flying, um, so, you know, it's decent. And Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot is kind of poor, just because, um, this is a slow hand. 
Um, I'll keep it. Ooh, I can play Thriving Rhino. Okay, let's play this. Pass. And then I'm just going to play... I think I'm going to play Renegade Freighter out first, and then I'll play Weldfast Monitor or Wild Wanderer to bring up the pain, you know? Oh, God. Thriving Grubs. Thank you. You make me love my life. You make me feel like a million dollars. Let's go ahead and swing it with that, baby. Yeah. I'm not blocking that. Okay. Nice. Doing anything turn two? Yes. Y-E-S. Yes. All right. Here we go. Go to combat. Swing in. Okay. I'm going to pay two. Uh, yes, sir. Feel free to kill it. Okay. Well, there you go. That's uh, what you want to do. That's what you want to do. I'm not here to judge. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Well, what is this? A 5 4? Beautiful. Sure, swinging, man. I will take that all day. I will take that all day. End step. Uh, yeah, that's all I want to do. Oh my god, I'm a turn late. I'm a turn late. Um, you know what I could do is I could hunt the weak, him, kill this, uh, crew this up in a swing in. Or I could play Wild Wanderer, get this, to get this guy loaded up. I think I'm going to do that. Okay. Okay. Yes. Give me a island. Okay. Crew two. Okay. Crew two. Begin combat. Swing in. Choo choo, motherfuckers! Uh, did I say okay? Yes, pass, please. Okay, pass the turn. And then I have Hunt the Week ready to go in case things get out of control. Underhanded designs. Okay. Okay. And you only you need two artifacts to destroy a creature at instant speed. Well, that's kind of good for me because I have a lot of ways to. Excuse me. I have a lot of ways to uh, get around that. Okay. Swing with just that. Okay. Sure. Please do nothing so I can just swing with the crew next turn. I can just hunt the weak this guy and just swing with everything. That'd be wonderful. Uh, no blocks. Thank you. Take three. I'm fine with that. I'm going to pass. Wow. Okay. Well, so far, he hasn't done anything. Um, I can Imperial Voyager... Um, we're going to do this. Beginning of combat. Sure. And then we're going to play this. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to crew two here. Okay. And we're going to go to combat and swing with the crew. Swing with everybody. Getting aggressive. Okay, and we're going to pay two. Yes. Yes. Y-E-S. 
I'm getting very angry. The grubs are angry. So kill one with a removal spell. That's fine. And then chump lock another one. I'm ready for the I'm ready for the I'm ready for the kill spell. Okay. Well, there you go. Sweet. Combat damage to a player. Okay. So I can basically hunt the weak next turn. Go boom, kill him, swing with everything. And that's game, baby. One, two. All right. Does he, does he gain life or anything? No. Okay. Okay. Well, look at that. Um, I think I'm just going to hunt the weak and swing in for the kill. Uh, is that right? Well, either way, I can swing with this or this. Uh huh. Uh huh. One, two, three, four. Okay, crew two. All right, GGS. That was extremely fast. All right, I feel good about that one. Dang. All right, we're just gonna go into another one because that's a sweet deck. That is a sweet, sweet, delicious deck. Um, okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I see that. Sorry, you can't see, but behind my picture, that little pop-up notification keeps saying, Hey, your match has started. Hey, you have priority. Hey, uh, Piranesi's waiting for you. And it's like, thank you. I, I understand. Thank you. Th thank you. Yes, thank you. Okay, yes, thank you. I'm going to mulligan. going to do a rare mulligan. Wow, what a bad hand. What a bad hand. I'm going to keep this, and hopefully that mul... Ugh. 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 What a horrible, horrible starting hand. Going to five is going to hurt, but I want to top deck... There you go. That's fine. Top deck a three drop. And then you got a th four drop. And then you can just swing it and kill whatever they have. Yes. Y-E-S. Okay, and then we're going to drop this, hunt the weak, swing in for four. Yes, please. Sure. Oh, my God, yes. Sign me up. Sign me up. Okay, here we go. Hunt the weak, kill it. Don't use that instant speed crap on me. And then say yes. Yes. Okay. Look at that curve. Look at that dirty curve. If I draw a land, I'll have a great turn on Woodweaver, kill whatever they play, and we'll be good. If I draw a land, I'll be so happy. Oh, bummer. All right. Well, that's the game for you. Um, yeah. And we'll just 1-1 one, one counter it. Okay. 1-1 one, one counter. I'm going to just F6. <clears throat> For five mana Riparian Tiger. Guess what we're welding? Sparking. Guess what we're sparking with our welds? Oh man, my mana is so inefficient right now. Um one, two, three. One, two, three, four. In combat. Swing in for some more. Hmm. My fixing is not great. Alright, six mana. What are you dropping? 
Okay, I think I can handle that for now. You got a ton of energy, though. That's the thing. Wow, that's it? That's all you're playing? How much do you got? Three cards left, huh? Well, let's go ahead and uh, begin combat. Swing in. No blocks. Okay. Now play this. And then we're going to play... Okay. And then we're going to play this. Because it's kind of a dead card, but whatever. I don't know why I'm playing this in a super hyper aggro deck. And I don't really think they're going to use a spell. Maybe they might do Appetite for the Unnatural on this guy. They could. That'd be really bad for me. But it all depends. I mean, I am kind of vulnerable to that. He's holding three cards, so... Hunt the weak, sure. I'm fine with that. Please swing at me with a 2-3. Okay. Oh my god, should I just drop this right now? Mm. Yes. That's, that's not player, is it? Yeah, okay. And we are... We are one damage away from legal. We are one damage away from legal. So whatever he plays, I can probably smash through it. Hence the name, Built to Smash. Oh, thank God. Okay. You passing? Just pass. Just pass. Play like a... Ooh. Uh, uh, okay. 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 3-3, three, three, huh? Okay, well, I'm just going to eat this alive, so uh, begin combat. Built to smash! Now, hopefully... Um, okay, hopefully he doesn't have the uh, unbreakable courage or whatever it's called. Okay, sure. I mean, do it. Force me to have it. You knew I had it. You knew I had it. Now you have the ornamental courage. He did get to draw a card though, which is kind of bad. Okay, and play this. Pass the turn. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. We got seven energy. So next turn, as long as he doesn't play. I mean, if he plays something, then I, I win. But. I probably would have went, ooh, ooh, ooh. He can double trade here, which is not good. Come on. Oh, baby. Um, well, I guess I'm just going to play Renegade Freighter. Uh, I don't have any way to remove this enchantment, do I? Oh, I do. So we're going to play this. Um, I can't crew vehicles with this, can I? No. So I guess we'll just, um, swing it with this, potentially. Nah, we'll just keep that open next turn. Because then this is going to have Tramp, he's got to double block it, and then it'll be awkward for him. So we'll just pass. Okay. He's got to win somehow. So five, three. I mean, this could be a big turn for him. I just need a blue mana and then I'll be fine. Oh boy. Got all this mana open and he just passes. Oh my god. Okay.
What are you gonna do? If he blocks there and blocks there, uh, he trades and he's back to one. He could just appetite for the unnatural, which is kind of a blowout. But yeah, okay, he goes on the one, trades up. Mm, three and two, yes. Um, and then pass. And we're gonna crack this at the end of my turn. Wow. So Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot is really not good in this deck. I don't know why I did play it. Um, hijack might be really good. Um, I think I'm gonna take. I'm gonna bring in Hijack, and I'm gonna bring in um, Appetite for the Unnatural, and then I will take out a Mountain. No, I'll take out a Forest because I have Botanical Sanctum. So we're going to go 16 lands, 14 creatures, 10 other. Let's submit that deck. Appetite for the Unnatural is going to be great when I can block or I can take out the... Uh, ooh, this is a slow hand. Eh, turn 3. No, I don't have any red. I got a, I got a mulligan. Okay, I'll do this. I'll do this. Keep. Um, yeah, let's top that. Beautiful. Okay. It's actually really bad for me, but then I got the welding spark, so it's not horrible. And they can Whirler Virtuoso, Imperial Voyager. So it's pretty good, actually. I'm going to play Whirler Virtuoso, make two. And then I will play Imperial Voyager. Let's no, just pass the turn. Attack. Feel free to attack. Ooh, no attacks. Really? Okay. <clears throat> so, I'm going to go to combat. I'm just going to get a free attack in here. Okay. Feel free to block. Okay. Two damage. Easy peasy. Merle Virtuoso. Just going to make some instant speed thopters. Okay. At the end of his turn, I'm going to make two. And then I'm going to Welding Sparks this thing and swing in for two. Well, no, I'm just Imperial Voyager. And then I'll be, and then I'll Welding Sparks it, right? Armorcraft Judge X is actually really bad here. Propeller Pioneer. Okay. Please fabricate on this guy. Please put all your mana into this. Yes. Y E S yes. Okay, there's a little bit of a delay there. I think I'm just gonna blow this up. Um, okay, pass the turn. Ooh, nice. Um, play a land. I think I should just. Welding sparks this now and then swing with these two. Um, three. Okay, and then swing with these two big guys. Be in combat, swing with these two fatties. Okay, looking good here. Looking good. Is he, is he considering blocking? That'd be great. Okay. Okay, pass the turn. I'm going to play Imperial Voyager next turn. And then I'm setting myself up for some more uh, energies. I got energies, got a lot of energies, got a lot of people trying to drain me of this energy. And Armorcraft Judge is horrible at this spot. That's okay. 
So I have one. So I can do five damage right now if I need to. Try to take a wh eh, 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 eh. Is this standard constructor or limited? Haha, <laughs> nice joke, Erebus. Uh, this is actually limited. That's how sick of a deck I drafted. Oh man, I should have. I wish I had welding sparks up. Okay, if I break that, I can. Well, I'm just not going to. Play the forest, play the imperial, and we're just going to pass the turn from there. Hopefully he doesn't do anything, and we're just going to pass. This would be sick, wouldn't it, if this was standard? This does feel like standard. It's very aggressive. It's extremely aggressive, but it's um, this is actually one of the slower hands. <clears throat> so let's see here. So hopefully he doesn't play a flyer or anything really worth anything. Our welding sparks the bird. As long as it's not a really big threat. Didn't play a land, so that seems pretty good for me. A welding sparks the bird, swing it for four, get two more. Hopefully I can attack again with two more and make another one. And that's just sort of how we win the game. I mean, if you were here for the first one, I crushed game one. Like, the guy didn't even have a chance. And it was uh, pretty insane. Like, I had a pretty good draw, too. So... One green open, huh? So if he has Ornamental Courage, which I have yet to see. Um, just blow it up. There you go. Yep, sure, give me two. Pass. If he has Ornamental Courage, well, she didn't have... Um, Yes, I'm fine. All right, go ahead, swinging. I'm fine. Go ahead. I'm in a really good spot right now. If you want to get aggressive right now, that'd be great. I feel like he's got a Sky Swirl Harrier or something if he's attacking right now, because that will kind of put a damper on the situation. Ooh, Riparian. Okay. I'm fine with that. I am totally okay with that. End step. Um, oh, baby. Oh, my God. Um, shoot. This is awkward because... Okay, okay. I see what's going to happen. I know what's going to happen. We're going to beef him up. Well, we can't really do this. I need to play this this turn so I can have the aggressive curve that I'd like. And I don't really have that, but I do have an instant speed uh, move here, which is kind of nice. Swinging for four. I'm going to take a bunch of damage this turn. But I can make one uh, and give him double trample. And I'm going to pass the turn. And then I basically just swing with a bunch of flyers next turn. And we good as gold, baby. So he's got to keep these guys back, essentially, this turn, if he wants to survive. Because if he swings with both, I just make a guy at the beginning of my turn. And then he's a 4-3 with trample. I can crew it, sure. I take, what, uh, 10? That's actually pretty good. Unless he's got a... Well, even if he has, even if he has a Sky Swirl Harrier, I win. Maybe an instant speed like Appetite for the Unnatural. But I'm not blocking, that's for sure. Gonna take it. Just gonna take it all. Gonna get aggressive. Gain five life. Ooh, that is pretty good, actually. Um... All right. Is there a way I can win this? Hmm. Six. Five. So, let's uh, do this. 
Okay. Trigger that. Okay. And then I'm going to have him crew this. Okay. Okay. One, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So he has to block this. Oh no, it's ten. He doesn't have to block. Ooh, double trample. Um one, two, six, seven, eight. Hold on. One, two. Wait, one yes. No, yes. Chump hold on. Did I fuck this up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Leave one back to chump. I take six. I win next turn. So I need I need this back. Shoot, I think I messed up. Swing. I need to keep him back, right? Three damage through. I take six. I need to block all of that. So three, five, and then block there. Yes. I need to actually do this. Okay. And then this is enough damage to kill that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I almost messed this whole thing up. Okay. And then we're going to play Wild Wanderer. I don't have any one-one counter, so I can't draw a card. Okay. Let's get a, uh, I don't know. Sure. Let's get an island. Okay. Here we go. We're going to double block here. We're going to take six. We're going to chump there. It's going to be great. Oh, he has no energy. Ooh, this is really good. Because I could block here and block there. Well, if he has any kind of... If he has anything, I'd basically lose. Why not crew the Summoning Sick Thopter? Oh. Because I'm stupid? <laughs> See, I was playing fast, and when you play fast, you make mistakes. And the other thing is that I'm not good. I never said I was good at this thing. I'm actually... I actually think that I'm very good at drafting, but I think my play is very sloppy in general, and I make a lot of mistakes. So you're very much correct. If I would have crewed this, and I've swung with everything, that would have forced the block. Um, however, he did have tramp. Ooh, well, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm fine with that. That doesn't really... He just draws a card. It doesn't really do anything. So if he attacks with everything, I can chump. I still win. I still win right now. Because he doesn't have energy. So if he swings with everything, okay, great. He doesn't have any energy, so I'm fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pay three, make a dude. Get that triggered ability. Okay. 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 And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to blocks. I'm going to go to blocks. Go to blocks. I'm going to chump here. I'm going to block here. Take one, and then I'll block here, and block here. And then take, I'm going to take two total, right? Three total. There you go. Live to fight another day. Unless he's got, like, ornamental courage or something. I don't know if there's any combat trick that gives it reach. Okay. Yay! I win! I win! Yeah, he does block more versus trample, and I, I, I should not have done that. And, and you know what I think it was? I think it also was, I thought this was a crew too, because I remember thinking when I was doing all this very fast in my head, I was like, oh, I have to... Ooh, look at that. I only can do four this turn. There you go, win the match. I think I remember thinking, I think my mistake was, I thought it was crew two, because I remember thinking, 
oh, I can only crew it with Virtuoso or a Flyer, so why would I crew a 2-3 Flyer with a 2-3 Flyer with a benefit? So, Appetite for the Unnatural. What a great card. All right, here we go. We are 2-0 and and 2-0. and This is how good we've been doing. Let's do another one. Let's just, let's just keep going. Can't stop. Can't stop. I actually want to get this done com very completed very quickly, mainly because I want to watch Monday Night Football. And the last time I tried to do this, um, I uh, ended up playing like a two and a half hour control match. It was horrible. Um, good luck, have fun. Won the die roll, so you know I'm gonna win. Um, long tusk cut. Wow, look at this. Look at this curve. Keeping. Okay. It was a pretty sick deck. Man, I've been playing against white all day. Every match has been white. Um, Two or fewer lands. Let's play this. Okay. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I want to do. Does not control an artifact. Please attack. No blocks, dude. Are you kidding me? Just pass the turn. Yes. Sweet mother of God. All right, we're going to play this before combat in case he has some two damage thing. I'm going to swing in here. No. Okay, keep it open to make him a threat next turn. And then we can hunt the weak, whatever he plays, uh, next turn. Boom, baby. This is really good. This hunt the weak is really just devastating. Welding sparks me. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, great. Beautiful. Swing in with that 3-2. I don't care. Toolcraft Exemplar does not really scare me. Mainly because I'm a way more aggressive deck. And um, and I need to side out Wood Weaver's Puzzle Knot, in all honesty. Uh, I'm going to kill this. Wait, no. Um, should I kill the Exemplar? Because it it's only when he's attacking, and I'm way more aggressive. So I'm just going to kill that. Do I want to pay two? Yeah, sure. Make him a four or five. Go ahead, block. Chump. 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 Wow, no blocks, huh? Okay, thank you. Pass the turn. <clears throat> so, if he has welding sparks, I'm kind of in a bad position. Although, Thriving Rhino should be safe for a while. Uh, Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot is what I want to lead off with. Um, at least I can burn some of this energy into this guy. It's a cute little guy. Put that on him. Sure. Spend your entire turn. Oh, okay. Okay. 3 2. Okay. Swing them both, please. Sure. Race me. Race me. Ooh, he might be able to kill me next turn. Can I kill him this turn? Four, five, hold on. Four, ooh, maybe not. Okay. Five, eight, okay. So, we're just gonna divvy it up. All right. Well, there you go. So, um, we're going to take out Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot, even though it was good in that game. 
We're going to definitely side an appetite for the unnatural. Um, and I do kind of want to take out another forest and put in something else. Maybe Fire Forger's Puzzle Knot. Um, it's pretty good against this. Yeah. Yeah. Exemplar didn't seem like much of a threat, although that curve out was pretty decent um, at the end because I was like, oh man, like if I don't kill him this turn, I might lose next turn if I swing out. But I think this is good against things like that, so I can drop this and just get pretty good value off of that. And taking one land out has been very nice, being as aggressive as I am. Um, this is a shitty hand for as aggressive as I'm going to be, but I suppose I'll keep it. On the draw? Jeez. Oh boy, this is horrible. Not bad. This is horrible as well. <clears throat> okay. At least we can weld fast and swing in for two. Okay. Sure, deal one to me. I will always yield to that. Okay. Well, look at that. Um, I think this is a better play. Because I can crew it. Okay. Um, well, I can block stuff with this. I suppose I could crew this and attack, but you're talking about taking four. I think I need to stay back and block, in all honesty. I really do think I need to stay back and block. This guy's really thinking about it. And if uh, if they decide to attack, I will block with a sky skip because I think the Thriving Rhino is going to be much more valuable. Oh my god. And I'm going to take a bunch of damage. So let's see. If I swing with a 3 4, it's not really beneficial for me. Okay, we're gonna, yes, we're gonna bring a forest in, just cause, and then I am going to, uh, crew, well, I can block anything, I can just eat anything. Should I, I mean, should I really crew this, or should I just keep it back as a blocker? I mean, I feel like, I feel like I'm in really in kind of trouble here, and I need to be on the defensive. But like a thriving cancel. I'm going to crew the wild wanderer because the rhino blocks more stuff. Because that two toughness is really relevant. Um, go to combat, swing with the flyer. All right, sure. Yes, it is revenge. Okay, pass the turn. I mean, I don't have a very good curve, but at least the Thriving Rhino blocks a lot of this stuff. And it can just eat... Oh, wow. This guy and his... This guy and his servos. I'm, I'm ready for an Anthem effect or a uh, swing with everybody. Yeah, look at this. Alright, I'm just going to block here. I'm probably going to get um, Impeccable Timing hit. Okay, built to smash, sure, whatever. Seems fair. Oh boy, look at this curve. Look at this beautiful, beautiful curve. Where's my removal? Where's my spicy removal? Gotta keep everyone back to block. You 
Yes, but the two three blocks all the two powered creatures, and it may matter in this case. Oh boy. All right, I'm gonna block. Well, let's just see what this looks like. Um, if we block here, that's really bad for us. One, two, three, six. So I can afford an extra point of damage. So I'm gonna do this. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can't do that. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, whoa! Oh, I already, I already went to blocks. I can't use my sky skiff to chump. Too late. Okay. Man, fast games. Fast games. Uh, so, am I really trying to be faster than this guy? Fireforge's Puzzle Knot looks good in this, for sure. Um, Welding Sparks is kind of bad. Um, Appetite for the Natural is actually great. Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot actually is decent with the three life gain. If I'm ahead, and Hijack is not good at all, I could actually play Starcher Engine and just overwhelm them. Mm. Nah, I just think I have to have a better draw than he does. And then I'll be fine. This is fine. We're going to go first, so we should be fancy. Yes, I would love to go first. With a good draw. Oh, baby. Oh, bur oh wait, I got one land. That's not as good as I thought it would be. Um... And with 16 lands, I'm not really sure if I want to keep it. I'm going to mulligan. Wow. Alright, let's keep it. Jeez. Not the greatest. Okay. Beautiful. Yes. Okay. Passing all kinds of priority. I'm going to appetite this inventor's goggles. Oh, <gasps> mother of God. Holy crap. Should I just appetite this now? I mean, I almost should. Damn, he got his land. Shit. Now, how am I supposed to win now? I gotta get a land. I gotta get a land right now. Okay. Pia. Hmm. Okay. Um, I am just going to, well, I could build to smash whatever she does. Okay, sure. I'm going to appetite this. Hmm. I want a Kujar. This guy. Smash. Hulk, smash, baby. Hulk, smash. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, give me give me one more land. That's all I need. I want to get one more land, and I'll fabricate, and I'll swing with the team. Come on. 
Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> sure, fabricate. Come on, land. I need to land. I need to land. I need to land. Right now. Right now, land. Oh, baby. All right, so this is going to become a 6-3. That's just going to smash for a million. Fabricate. Okay. Make a servo. Okay. Okay. Swing, 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 swing. What are you going to do, champ? What are you going to do? Feel free to eat something. Take eight? Sure. That's game, brother. You're going to have to chump this and chump that. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure, that's fine. Down the one. Yes. Did I just win? Did I just go 3 0, baby? Let's do it. Let's do it. <claps> GG's, motherfuckers. Yeah. All right. Well, real Erebus, guess what? Uh, you just real. You just watched the realest uh, draft ever. Um, that was very fast. I mean, that was one of my fastest. Uh, games ever. That was a sweet aggressive deck. That draft started off really janky, and it turned off to be turned out to be really good. So that was awesome. That timing was perfect. Uh, basically, I ended right before eight, which is usually uh, really difficult. But that was wildly aggressive. That turned out really good.